Okay, listen. I know we've had our differences, you and I. I know you didn't want to be a CNC lathe. You wanted to be a manual lathe. I get it. But we got to get past this. We have a job to do. We not. We got to do this. Are you ready? All right. Let's go. I rewrote the program off of the mock wizard to save myself a little bit of time. You see a lot more lines here now. <laughs> of course, some of them aren't straight. Uh, that's probably my programming. But in the end, the very final cut is the one that's the important one. That's, that's the angle that we need. But for some reason, Mach tried to do this in five steps, and it was too much. Uh, the lathe just kept crashing. There was nothing it could do. And I didn't see any way in the program to increase the number of, you know, tries. So, whatever I did, it didn't want to change it. So anyway, I edited the file, did a couple of uh, mathematical equations. Of course, you can see where I messed up. But it'll work. Hopefully. So, here we go. Contact. All right, cycle start, fingers crossed. Catch trying to eat the aluminum fabrics. <laughs> I'm cranking the speed up. This seems like too big of a bite. I gotta kick uh, add a couple more lines. Maybe a new sharp insert too. Look at the rest, man. end I think we're getting close what are you doing why are you 
doing that. I don't see anything rubbing. WD. fix it if it does. I'm not to look. I don't know how much more it has to go. like three more passes. got here. Looks good. So when were you guys going to tell me the part was scrap? I mean, were you just going to let me keep working on this thing before, uh, before I figured it out? Yeah, anyway, uh, I messed up. When I did the programming last night, I had a number in my head and unfortunately it wasn't the right number. I was so dependent on the Mach 3 wizard numbers, I failed to actually look at my drawing. And though this angle is correct, it's 10 degrees, it's not, wasn't supposed to be pushed over 0.4. Mach 3 was supposed to start 0.4 over and then go all the way down to the very ledge that I created 
So basically, that's where the angle ends, and then up here is where it starts. But instead, it moved the entire shoulder over that way. And it wasn't supposed to do that. Which also suggests why I was having such a hard time with it. I knew it was cutting too much, and I didn't understand why. And that's why it was trying to move the whole darn thing. So, anyway, I'm going to have to get a new piece of aluminum. And I'm going to have to start this uh, little endeavor over again. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm considering, or I was considering in the very beginning, instead of making the existing pulley that was there, that's there, making a smaller pulley. Because with a smaller pulley, you'll get more torque, less speed. So I was actually thinking about making a smaller pulley anyway. So maybe this forces my hand? I don't know. Uh... I don't know. Anyway, guys, that was it. Uh, I think I'm going to call this one for the weekend. I got some work to do. Some swimming in the pool and some barbecuing. I need a break from this thing. I'll catch you later. Alright, guys. I think I figured out what these are. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Get this one. You've got an oiler here, right? Looks like it goes in, fills up this chamber, and if I was to venture a guess, I would have to assume that as this as the top piece rides over back and forth, this lubricates the uh, dovetailing way. I don't know if I'm right, but. I don't see what other role it would play. I mean, why would you oil, let the oil build up down here? This has to roll and coat the top piece and then, yeah, huh. Why not just put the oil around the top piece and then have it drip down, right? I don't know, I'm a little confused on that one. I'm not going to lie, that one's got me. Huh. Sometimes, throwing in the towel for the day isn't all that bad. <laughs> now, i got to clean my pool now. One of my many chores. After I do my pool, got to do the riding lawnmower. But, don't worry. I know you guys have your own chores and I won't bore you with mine. Have an awesome weekend, guys and girls. Catch you later.